Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Go Before You Don't, and welcome back to New York City. So we're in Brooklyn at the moment, and today we're going to an area called Williamsburg. Delisi's so gonna go and do a bit of window shopping. She's gonna go look for, I don't know what it is she likes, like bracelets I'm or... I'm gonna get a free haircut. Oh yeah, she's getting a free haircut tonight. But I'm gonna go to a place called the Kent Ale House on Kent Avenue to watch the World Cup. England are playing Colombia in about two hours. And since Scotland aren't in the World Cup and have not been in the World Cup since 1998, I remember it very clearly. Brazil put us out 2-1. Sam Peo scored the first one and Cafu attempted to score and it hit off Tom Boyd. It was an own goal. In between three Scotsmen, Burley didn't quite make it. Cesar Sampao did. An unlikely scorer and Brazil lead. Cafu from Dunga. Scotland in trouble. It's gone in off Tommy Boyd. It's an own goal. Cafu claims it. Scotland so unlucky. Jury just failed to reach the ball. It came off Jim Layton from Cafu's shot and then rebounded home off Tommy Boyd. We just stopped into this little cafe on Driggs Avenue. It's called Whoops. Really nice coffee. My coffee experience in New York got off to a really bad start. I had some really terrible, just filtered drip coffees that were just. I like my coffees milky, so like a flat white or a, even a latte. I can deal with a latte, but the coffees I was getting were not nice. So it's, it's so nice that we're finally finding these places that are. You know, good, good coffee. We actually went to one yesterday as well. I took pictures of it and I'm gonna make a, a blog post article on our website about it, but I didn't film. But it was really nice, it was called, actually it was a combination of two companies. It was a non-profit organization called Feed, who uh, helps children around the world in places like Kenya. And they teamed up with a coffee company called uh, La Colombe. And this was just somewhere mutual beneficial for both of them. La Colombe could sell their coffee and uh, Feed can then sell bags, which is uh, one of their main things that they use to raise funds. And what was really nice is that on the counter, they had a, like a running total of the amount of free meals that they've been able to provide to, to people in need, uh, all, all, all down to people supporting their cause. So it was really nice. I'll link them down below if you're interested in visiting them, having a coffee and helping some people at the same time. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh, look. Oh. Hey. <laughs> that's a that's a sad video. That's a sad video. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. Thank you very much. This way? I totally totally miscalculated the time difference between New York and the UK. But I thought it kicked off at three, but it kicked off at two, so it was like 21 minutes ago. And we're still a 10 minute walk away from the pub I want to watch it in. This is a, this is a disaster. Why don't you just watch it at the next pub that we come across? Watch it at the next pub we come across? What am I, an animal? Alright, enjoy wasting your time trying to find it. Bye. <laughs> Those girls in there subscribed to the channel. Yeah? yeah. She flipped the, the computer screen around as I was leaving and it was my face on there. Always, always happy to welcome new subscribers to the channel. Okay, this might be an option actually, just any pub, any pub will do. Any pub with a TV. So we just went into some bar on the way to this other place just to see what it was like. And they had this massive big screen, oh, looked incredible. Oh, Aircon was beautiful, but there was no sound. Why would you be watching the World Cup with no sound? There's sound, I can hear. At least they have sound. So that place was better, at least they had sound playing, but it was really, really busy, really packed, and only like two tiny little TVs. <gasps> we made it to Kent Avenue. 
We're just looking for the ale house now. We found it finally. Woo! Thank God. The Kent Ale House. And it's packed. And it's absolutely packed. Great. Oh well, I'm not going anywhere else anyway, so. I made it to the Kent Ale House, absolutely packed. But I found a nice quiet little corner in the back of the room. Perfect for me. Khaleesi didn't want to stay and watch the football, so she's gone off to do some other stuff. It's just half time in the football. I'm going to watch the second half, have a couple of beers, maybe a bar snack. We welcome you wherever you are for the final match of the round of 16 at the World Cup. England have got a penalty. It was definitely a penalty. down to five kicks each from 12 yards. England just missed. This could be it for England. Now Colombia just missed. We're back to even Stevens. That was intense. Whew. I love the World Cup. I love the World Cup. Funny, actually, the last time I was in New York was 12 years ago, three World Cups ago, and the World Cup was going on then as well. I just seem to choose World Cup season to come to New York. New York, I'll be back in four years. Hopefully, Scotland will be in the World Cup by that point. I just spent about three hours in Starbucks waiting for Talisi. Her hair appointment was supposed to be between six and eight, and she showed up at Starbucks at quarter to nine, so. <coughs> but the good news is, her hair looks absolutely incredible. Look at all of my hair. Oh my god. Look how short it is now. It's so nice. Khaleesi's gonna donate all that hair and it's gonna provide wigs for about 400 people. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give the like button a wee smash for us. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. And just before we go, if you haven't been to New York City,